Hi, everybody. It's Ryan from the NFT Art Collective. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the fastest way to create a 3D profile pic of your board ape using the House of Kiba Ape Demption cards and Marmoset. No animation, just a still. And I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. If you want that, check out my other video. Here we go. So the first thing you need to get your unzipped folder with all of your assets go to game ready ape drag in your file that's ape maximo or mixamo the fbx file okay you're going to drag that in next we're going to drag in all of the objects okay go to your root folder in your source source folder uh, first off army hat grab the game.fbx drop it in go back leather punk jacket game fbx drop it in Go back, blindfold, game FBX, drop it in. Then we've got the cigarette, game FBX, drop that in. And so for me, that's all the objects that I have for my ape. There he is. And before we begin, I do need to go over the camera controls really quickly if you've never used a program like this before. So to move the camera, which is going to change the perspective and the look of your profile pic, you're going to use the Alt button as a modifier. If you hold the Alt and also hold your left mouse button, you can rotate the camera. If you hold Alt and also the middle mouse button, you can pan the camera left and right and up and down. And finally, if you hold Alt and also hold the right mouse button, you can zoom the camera in and out. So again, hold Alt and left mouse button to rotate, Alt and middle mouse to pan, Alt and right mouse to zoom. Next thing I'm going to do is look to see if anything needs adjusting. And on this one, we have a little bit of issue with the cigarette. It needs to be lowered. So I'm going to choose the cigarette and then this tool here, which you can get by clicking W. I'm just going to move it down just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's good enough. And then the other thing is that the hat crashes here. So I'm going to move this up just a bit. Get it where the bandana kind of fits better right in here okay so that looks like the only adjustments i need to make for my ape if we're doing something basic here next thing we need to add our textures so click on the hat right click select material alt tab over to my source folder now we're going to start with the army hat we're going to go into arnold textures and one by one base color comes over to albedo normal map over to normal roughness over here to roughness under microsurface and then metalness to metalness all right i'm going to alt tab back there's the hat looking good blindfold click and then right click select material alt tab over here to the source folder now to the blindfold arnold textures base color into the albedo we've got metalness into metalness normal over to normal and roughness to roughness I uh, know that next I'm going to do the cigarette. We'll just go ahead and go in that folder. Alt-Tab, select our cigarette, right-click, select material. Alt-Tab again, base color over to albedo. Metalness to metalness, normal to normal. And roughness to roughness. Uh, the next thing we're going to be doing is the jacket. So I'm going to go to the leather punk jacket, Arnold. Alt-Tab again, okay, looking good got a cigarette uh, click on the jacket right click select material alt tab back over be careful you're going to choose the leather first leather base color leather metalness leather normal leather roughness okay tab over there okay looking good there now last thing is the metal on the jacket left click and then right click select material alt tab now we're on to the metal which is down here metal base color metal metalness metal normal and finally metal roughness okay jacket's looking good too um, we do see that there's a little bit of issue here with the arms the size of this we're going to take care of this in uh well we can take care of it in just a second let's do the fur first so th this is an issue with the, not the source files. It's an issue with, with the conversion as it goes back and forth between these different programs. Um, so we're going to click on the ape, right click, 
select material, alt tab, here we go. Um, in this uh, noise RGB, yours will be different, mine is noise first, so it's noise RGB. Arnold, base color to the albedo, metalness to metalness, normal to normal, roughness to roughness. Oops, somehow I missed the metal in this one. Let's try that again. Okay, so this looks good. Um, everything is nice here, except you can see that this jacket, there's an issue. So this is something that you may have to play with depending on the jacket of your particular ape. But what I found with mine is that if I go over here to uh, the scene tab and I click on the, the object that holds both of these, the metal and the punk jacket, any changes you make to this will apply to both of the children. So what we want to do is go to the transform here. And there's a couple of things that I found that seem to make this work better. First off, if you scale this, I don't know why this works to scale it down, but if you do 0 0.991, 0 0.991, 0 0.991, then you'll see that it is, it's perfect now. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. And so because we're not going to do animation, that's all you have to do. So you may need to try this a little bit differently with your particular jacket or clothing if you've got this crashing issue. But you can see that there's, there's really nothing wrong with it now, and it was just a simple adjustment. I changed it to 0.991. If you're going to do animation, you probably have to make some more adjustments. But for now, that's all we need. So if we're doing sort of a profile pic, right, they usually kind of face to the right, and we can zoom in even closer, right? So maybe something like like this. You're going to kind of frame it up. I'm holding Alt and I'm uh, left mouse click to kind of rotate. And so I'm not going to get this too perfect because, again, this is just a quick tutorial. But zoom in and out. Get it however you want it. Be able to sh see enough of the jacket, the clothes, whatever you want. Now, the next thing, I want to go to the settings and I'm going to crank this up from resolution standard to high DPI so I can get a better preview of what it looks like. And then we're going to go ahead and crank up some of the render settings as well. So go to the Render tab, click this. We want to use ray tracing. And look at the difference it's going to make up here. So much better on the textures and the lighting when we do ray tracing. Um, if you do more bounces, it probably looks even better. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if we do like 10 bounces. Um, I don't know. I'd have to go back and forth and see. There's a little bit of a curve right here, though. Okay, so now this is not quite the quickest I can do, but... Uh, it's about the same, so uh, we'll do 10 bounces, because why not? So that'll take longer time to render, but perhaps it's a better better quality. Uh, we can click this X over here. Okay, and then, again, I'm going to be kind of crazy with this, um, and just, I'm going to crank things up. Um, I want everything on high quality over here. Why not? Let's use cascades on shadows. Maybe that's even cooler. And... Um, I don't know. Let's see. Down here at the bottom, resolution. I'm going to go to this quick menu and do 4K, 3840 by 2160. I'm going to crank the number of samples up to, I don't know, really high, like ludicrously high, probably 4096. You'll have to play with this on your own. The, and then I'm going to go EXR 32 bit, which is absolutely the highest quality that it possibly could have. And um, we don't need video. So really, that's it right here. You could stop right there if you want. Um, the only other thing that you might want to do is change the background. So if you want to have a different background color for your profile pic, what you would do is come over here to the sky, click on that. Instead of the mode for the backdrop, we want to go away from ambient sky to color. And then you're just going to pick a color. So I don't know. I like blue. All right. I think that looks pretty cool. And so that's it. We go back over here to the render engine. Click that. Go back down over here. Uh, we can close the tab for the lighting. But over here in the output, we're going to do... Look, if you if you don't really care about super extra quality, just do JPEG or PNG. Upload it to Twitter uh, or Facebook or whatever, and it's going to be perfect. I'm going to go ahead and do it as um, EXR 32-bit just for myself. I'll take it into Photoshop, and I'll do another render. That way I've got a super high-quality source file. But that's really the end of the tutorial. All you got to do, let's say you just wanted a PNG, click PNG, click uh, Render Image, and it's going to take a few minutes to render because I cranked the settings up like crazy. But if you don't do that, uh, if you just have some of the normal settings, you can tweak it, see what works best for you. That is all you need to do. That's how much time it takes. You don't have to know anything about this. I don't know, what was that? 10 minutes or something? And we are done. Thanks for joining. We'll have more tutorials in the future. Appreciate it. Have a great day.